A dresser has five drawers stacked vertically. To be able to reach the contents in an open drawer, the drawer that is directly above the open drawer may not be open. I mean, if you have a drawer here, and this drawer is open, how are you supposed to like reach in that little itty bitty gap? That's gonna be hard to like pull something out. You can just barely be a teeny little ball. So anyways, uh, in how many ways can one or more drawers be open so that the contents in each of the open drawers can be reached? That means all of the open drawers can be reached. So if you have a drawer here and the drawer directly above it is open, well then that can't be a possibility because this open drawer, they say all open drawers, the contents in the all open drawers have to be reached, but this open drawer here, the contents in it, you can't reach it. So, if you have like two drawers on top of each other, you uh, two drawers on top of each other, and they're both open, can't have that. So, you just will, will use some casework. Draw these five drawers really fast. Again, they're stacked vertically. We'll name these drawers. Drawer A, drawer B, drawer C, drawer D, and drawer E. Okay. So, when we do this case work, we want to make sure we're nice and organized. You can't just be like counting all over the place. So, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep track of um, our cases. Are just gonna be if one drawer is open. If two drawers are open, and if three drawers are open. Okay, so well, one drawer is open. This is open. Well, I mean, this can be open. C, D, E. Any of those drawers can be open. There's no other drawers to affect another drawer because we're only, we only have one drawer. Well, the drawer itself can't affect itself. So they have five possibilities for that. For two, it's a little harder. So, say we pick drawer A. Well, we can't pick drawer B, or else we can't reach drawer A. So, you have to, once you pick drawer A, we have to pick drawer C, D, or E. Any of those are good. And for drawer B, if we pick drawer B to open first, well, then we have E and D to worry about. Again, I'm, I'm not counting anything over again, because you'll see why in a minute. So, for A, there's three choices, E, D, C. That's A, E, A, D, and A, C. For B, there's two choices, B, E, and B, D. And for C, there's just one choice. And again, like I said, I'm not counting anything over again. Because when I said E, I just said C, E. E is not paired with anything else. It doesn't say like E paired with A. But if you do that, you have to divide by two. So I just said this, so no extra calculation. For three, well, if A is open, then automatically we have C and E. That's one choice, and that's it. I mean, if you pick drawer B, you only have three drawers. I mean, you only have, I mean, these are three drawers, and you have to pick this one. You can't pick C. I mean, you have to pick E or D. If you pick e, D, well, you don't have any other drawers to open. And similarly, if you pick E, you don't have any other drawers to open. C, D, and E have the exact same problem. So we just have one choice for all three drawers are open. And we just have set six, five, plus six, plus one. That's 12, which is our answer.